Hey mature designers, today we will be talking about card sorting, an important method in UX research. So what is exactly card sorting? Card sorting helps to know user's mental model. It helps us to know how the user is thinking when he is on your website or your application. It helps us to know where the user is believing that he will find something that he is searching for. And also card sorting helps in improving the information architecture of the existing website or a website that is, that is new and is to be built or an application. So basically it helps in improving the information architecture. It also helps in forming the information architecture. So this is all about card sorting and it is very, very important method. Next comes the different types of card, uh, card sorting. So card sorting is of three types. First is open card sorting. Second is closed card sorting. And the third one is hybrid card sorting. So what is open card sorting? An open card sorting is one in which the user is given different menus, different features that are going to be in your website or application or the product you are making so the user is given all those options and now the user is asked to form groups out of all those options like you have written each and every feature or option or menu in sheet of papers and like in different different sheets of paper in sticky notes and all so one feature in one sticky note and like that will have many sticky notes so the user is asked to group them according to similarity according to you think that these items should be together so accordingly the user is asked to make categories or and groups and group the items together so that's how user plans to do it so he adjusts everything according to him right and after that, it's your duty, you can ask the user why he thinks that those groups are made and why you have kept these items together. And why do you, and do you think that some items were difficult to place? And do you think that some items were going into two groups, but then you finally decided to put it into one in a, a, a particular group? Or it might be that some items are just left and they are not ungrouped so uh, you can ask that why do you think that they are not going into, into any group so these questions can be asked to them after doing this uh, research with them right so that is all about open card sorting now next it comes to closed card sorting now what is closed card sorting in this process some categories are pre-made by you and the user is asked to categorize all those sticky notes into put those sticky notes into those categories which are already made by you right now user is putting them but it might be that user feels that there might be some extra categories but he is not allowed to do that in closed card sorting he just have to place everything inside the pre-made categories and he don't have to apply his brain to making categories right so you'll have to place those categories that's all about closed card sorting now the third one is hybrid card sorting in this you, you give some flexibility to the user that he can also make groups so there are some pre-made groups a b c or um home screen um and uh, purchase and orders and payment so these are certain categories that are made by you so the user is placing items but then the user finds that there can be some extra category of favorites uh, so user makes his own category and places some items inside those categories so there are five groups made by you and two groups or three groups or many other groups made by the user. So that is hybrid. So user is having some flexibility to make his groups alone. So that is a mixture of open and closed card sorting. So this is all about card sorting and the types of card sorting. And now we will move on when and how to do card sorting. And this is the most important part of this card sorting about how to do it, when to do it. So let's see, when your website is new and you haven't built anything, the website is not launched yet. It's a new product. It's a new product. So now what you have to do is that you have to first start with open card sorting with your user. You have to make, uh, you have to um, ask five, six or maybe 10 users and then you have to do this particular research. So what you have to do is that you have to ask your users to start with open card sorting 
like you have given the categories and the user is making his own groups right so there's one user who is making his groups then you are uh, then one user the first user is gone now the second user has to do the same or the third user has to do the same so there are 10 uh, at least you have to take data of 10 to 8 10 to 12 users because that is how you will uh, feel that the thing is going in the right direction right so after doing open cart sorting the user is asked to do closed cart sorting right so when the categories are already made now again after doing this then again you have to only um, ask the other user some other user now you will give those categories which were made by the previous user to the other user right and those pre made categories and then the user will only put uh, items into those groups so that is closed cart sorting so start with open cart sorting do closed cart sorting with other user and then you can do tree testing now what is tree testing i will be explaining uh, tree testing in other videos so you can watch my video about tree testing as well so that's how you do a uh, cart sorting for new website now what about current website a website which is live how to do that cart sorting into this so what you do is you first start with tree testing after doing tree testing you will see if the results are not good and you find that some changes are need to be made so now you will take users and you will ask them to do cart sorting right so you will do cart sorting and then you will refine the information architecture according to the new cart sorting and then again do the tree testing and when you again do the tree testing then you will Uh, uh, then you will again compare the results of previous and the new tree testing. So you will understand that how you are, your work is going. Is it improving or is it not improving? So you basically try to change and improve, right? So that's how card sorting helps you. It helps you a lot. You can use card sorting for future features, or you can use it for the whole product uh, information architecture. So that's how you do it. uh for tree testing you can watch my new video that i am going to release so uh that is all about car sorting thank you please like the video subscribe the channel